Dean, can you explain Trump's plan on tariffs for tax cuts? Yeah, from what I understand, he's trying to cut taxes and pay for all of it by tariffs. What Trump's plan is to expand the 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, cut corporate taxes further, so expanding his tax cuts from 2017 and pay for all of it by tariffing everything. So what do you think about the plan? What I think about the plan? First of all, I don't think it's going to work. I have some experience in this, in importing and exporting. And I was a financial officer of a large conglomerate that all we did was import. A little bit of exports, but all import. And what we imported was primarily apparel, industrial products, industrial goods, all from Asia. You know, so I had you know, several years of experience understanding how the system works. And use this example. Imagine you're a company that imports t-shirts from, let's call it China, and you're importing the t-shirts for 10 bucks a shirt, and you're selling it for 20% profit, 12 bucks in your stores. Say along comes a tariff of 20%. Now the way tariffs works is that a manufacturer over there still exports the t-shirt for 10 bucks. It's when the company goes to the port to grab the product, to clear customs, they have to pay the 20% tariff. They, the company that here does. So now when they clear the goods, they pay the Chinese supplier 10 bucks and they have to pay the $2, 20% tariffs. So what happens to the cost of the shirt? The shirt, the t-shirt now costs them 12 bucks. And they used to be selling the shirt for how much? 12 bucks. Now all of a sudden, if they sell it for 12 bucks, what happens? Zero profit, right? Are they a non-profit? No. So they got to make some money. So if $2 was their prof profit target, that profit is used, that gross margin actually, let me be more accurate, the gross margin of $2 is used to pay salaries for their employees, their overhead and everything. They have to mark up the product, right? So let's just say they want to keep their $2 gross margin. Now they're selling the t-shirt for 14 bucks. So who buys the t-shirt? The consumers do. So if you look at how a tariff works, who pays for the tariff at the end of the day? The consumers pay for the tariff. Now the company can get a lot of backlash and like, okay, 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 fine. We cut our gross margin by a dollar. They still have to sell that t-shirt now for $13 instead of 14. They cut their profit by a dollar. But at the end of the day, what happens? Who pays for the tariff? The consumer pays for the tariff. So how is this going to affect the economy? Well, if you think about it, right? If you tariff everything, and some things that are retaliatory, like if another country tariffs us, he wants to bump it 60% tariff, other Chinese goods 60%, it's going to raise the cost of products for the consumers. What's going to happen? You can technically look at it as potentially inflationary. It's going to cost everything to be more expensive. Retaliation. So other countries are going to retaliate on our exports. They're going to put tariffs on our exports. And what does that do? Raises the price of our exports in the importing country out there. So we might lose exports to a certain extent. So it's going to hurt our jobs here. It's going to hurt our productivity here. In minute, rare, rare cases, a tariff could be borne by the exporting countries. Usually the governments come in, step in and subsidize them if they're being tariffed or whatnot. But that almost never happens. There's data that proves that. The reality of it is tariffs are going to cost our economy a lot more money. You're going to get... People pay less in taxes, but what goes up? All the stuff that they buy, that they use, becomes higher in price. It's going to be a net negative. From the, the tax cuts versus the negative cost of the tariffs, the negative cost of the tariffs is going to outweigh the tax cuts, so it's going to cost our consumers more. It's going to be a net negative for the economy.